Welcome back to my tutorial on Ethereum blockchain programming using Solidity. Today is a very exciting day because what we're going to do is we're going to try and publish our contracts to the Robston test network. This video is going to be a two part or maybe three part series with first trying to get you set up with the environment and then editing code in Solidity and compiling with Truffle and then finally deploying it to the Robston network. Uh, and I'm going to go into every single step in this in this video and part two. Don't think there will be a part three because I think I can cover it in two parts. The first thing that you need to do is actually download Git. And you need to get to this site I'm going to magnify it so that you see it. It's going to be that. Once you get to that site, you're going to come up to the screen here that you see in front of you. And you're going to pick the one that corresponds to your operating system. I will download the 64 bit Git. If you have Windows 7 and it's 32 bit, you should download the 32 bit. Very simple. Let me just take the magnifying off. Okay. So that's actually going to take a little bit to download, depending on your connection. I have a pretty fast connection, so it shouldn't take too long. All right. Once you have the Git exe downloaded, then let's go ahead and install it. And the reason that you need to install this because we're going to install the Truffle HD wallet and it seems that the package needs Git for some reason or another for you to get it working. While I install this, I would like to mention that there's there's a couple of preconditions number one is you've seen my video on how to download and install MetaMask if you have not please go back to the beginning of my video it's video number one and usually one and two I put the links up on the YouTube channel so that you see that which videos you should watch before this so the first thing is you should have MetaMask already installed the other thing you should already have installed is no JS. Uh, that's I know it's on video one. So please install that to get the no JS package manager. And on video one I also cover how to install Truffle. So please get that installed before you even look at this video. I don't want to go through that on this video because it's going to be repetitive. So please go back to the video and then go through it and install the necessary so there's three things npm truffle and metamask and then we have some additional things to install here which it's it's going to be git the windows build tools and the hd wallet for truffle now, what you see here is the prompt to install git and I'm just going to go through the motions here, click yes, next. I usually just go through this here. Everything in default. Everything in default. I'm not a Git guy. I'm a Visual Studio Online guy. I don't use Git. I only use it certain things that I need to put up online so people can download. But I'm not really a Git guy. I'm going to pause the video now and then we can come back for the next things that you need to install. All right, welcome back. So, you should have installed Git successfully. If you have installed it successfully, if you open up a command prompt and you type in git, you should see things like this come out on the command prompt. And if you do, then you're all good. The next thing you want to install is you want to install the Windows build tools. 
and the way that you do that is easy I'm gonna give you the exact command that you have to use to install the Windows build tools and these are the tools that come with Visual Studio if those are you that are dotnet developers I'm a dotnet guy they automatically come installed I think with Visual Studio so if you do have Visual Studio installed you're gonna have a little bit of a conflict I don't because this is a machine that I specifically do not do any dotnet development on this is solely for the ethereum solidity environment npm install g windows build tools let me put a magnifier on what I just typed in okay so you start with windows I'm sorry you start with npm install dash g and then it's going to say Windows Build Tools. And that actually is going to take a little bit of time to install. And at this point, I'm actually going to pause the video again and we'll come back once I have it installed. I just wanted to come back and show you what happens when you're installing this. You should see a screen like this where it's installing the build tools here and you should see the green here. But I'll pause the video now so that you can continue your installation. Alright, if you take a look here, installation is done. So you should have something similar to this. If you have any warning signs, it should be okay also. The next thing you want to install is the Truffle HD wallet provider. So what happens with Ethereum is for you to actually execute transactions, you have to sign them. And what you can do with the HD wallet provider is through Truffle, it will be able to sign transactions for you, which includes releasing contracts to the blockchain now if you were trying to deploy your contract to a test blockchain such as Robson you could do it the way that I'm gonna show you how to do it or you can download the whole Ethereum test node on your machine I'm gonna use something a website called Infuria to get a key which they use to which they have a a remote node which you can release your code through there aside from that you you'd have to download the whole ethereum node to your machine if you wanted to deploy a contract and i really don't want to do that so i tried to find a better uh, easier way to do it not a better way i wouldn't say it's better i would just say it's easier for you to do it the way that these guys do with through Infuria. So the next thing I want want you to install is the actual HD wallet provider, which is part of it's Truffle's HD wallet provider. So it's a separate package. And for you to do that, all you have to do is type in npm install Truffle HD wallet provider. I don't want to magnify that, but you know what I do. Let me just do it for you guys. So that's the name of the package. And obviously the command is npm install. Now, do not install this without having everything that I mentioned before installed. Because this is going to look for the git and build, the Windows build tools and all that. I had that issue when I tried to do this on my other machine and I ran to, into all sorts of problems so I just said let me just do a clean clean install on the machine that I can just not have any Visual Studio things on so once you do that it should spawn and this is actually going to take a while too so I'm going to pause the video and then come back alright guys all done if you see things like this in terms of warnings that should be fine 
Now, for you to actually test this, we are have to, gonna have to dig into the code. And I'm going to stop the video right here and I'm gonna put another part on how to set up your code and all that so that we can deploy our contract to the Robson Ethereum blockchain. And I'm also gonna show you on the next video how to get Ethereum from from Robson because <clears throat> you need Ethereum to deploy your, your contract. And we're gonna do that through MetaMask. So I hope you enjoyed the video part one. Don't forget to read part two to view part two. And I'll see you on the next video.